Hello everybody, Mr. Bissinger here. I'm going to be reading you a book today called From There to Here by Laura Crozo, and it's illustrated by Matt James. From There to Here. It's different here, not the same as there. There, Dad drove home each day to eat lunch with us. Here, Dad isn't home until supper. Mom calls it dinner now. There, Dad helped build a dam stretching across the Saskatchewan River. Here, Dad helps build a highway stretching across Toronto, lanes going west and lanes going east. East, that's the direction we came, from there to here, all the way by train, pulling out of Skastoon, rattling faster and faster on the track, swaying everyone to sleep, except me, my forehead pressed against the window, listening to the train whistle, goodbye. There, we lived on a road, a graveled and oiled road, carved into the middle of the bush, a road without a name. Here, we live on a street, an asphalted and sidewalk street, paved into the middle of the city, a street with a name. Birch Street. I don't see any birch trees. They must be hiding in the backyards behind the fences. There, plenty of birch trees and pine and spruce and poplar, a forest of trees for a backyard. No fences or front yards. The trailers sat roosted right alongside the road, curtains open, nobody locked their doors. Here, green grass lawns and flower gardens and driveways first, and then the houses. Reaps closed. We keep forgetting to lock our door. There, a tarp of twinkle, twinkle little stars hung high above our trailers, and on some night, a special show when Aurora Borealis sh shimmered in the sky, swirling and twirling, dancing for us. Here, no stars, no northern lights, the street lamps in a straight row, standing at attention glaring down the dark. There, a brush fire upriver, the smell of home. Here, the carpet smells new. There, we traveled in a pack, all the kids, so long as we could keep up. Down our road, through our forest, past the creek, towards the hill, howling like wolves. Last one to the top is a dirty rotten egg. Here, Doug has made his own friends, and today, they took a bus to the Canadian National Exhibition. Why can't I go, I asked. Because you're not old enough, he said. Well, I'm old enough to watch my little brothers and my little sister while Mom unpacks more boxes. My eyes are on Michael, asleep on the couch, and Stefan, stuck to the TV. That That's all, folks. And Kathy, cutting and pasting frogs from National Geographic. But my ears are waiting for a knock on the door. Knock, knock, who's here? Anne, that's who. Anne, who lives kitty corner to me. Anne, who was waiting beside the moving truck the afternoon we arrived. How old are you, she asked. Eight, almost nine, I answered. How old are you, I asked. Eight, almost nine, she answered. There, only me, my age on my road. Ready, Anne says. Ready, I say. Here, Anne and me on our bikes down our street through the church parking lot, past the apartment buildings, towards Yong Street, and lunch at the Red Barn. Pedaling faster and faster, the Toronto air rushes to greet me, tugging up the corners of my mouth. Anne is smiling, too. It was different there, not the same as here. Hope you enjoyed the story, and if you've ever moved somewhere, it teaches you, although it's different, you can learn to love it, just like the character in our story. Hope you have a great day, everybody. Thank you.